Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, we have a release date for Windows 11. Intel's Monster GPU is on the way. Tons of gamers won't be able to install Windows 11, and AMD released a new custom APU. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, while Microsoft revealed their new operating system just a few days ago, the company never gave us a hard date for its eventual release, only telling us that it would get here for the holidays. Well, according to The Verge, Microsoft gives us some really strong hints during the presentation. For one, a team's message says, quote, Excited to turn it up to 11. Can't wait for October. Now, that is someone from Microsoft Surface Team, so it could be referencing a new Surface release, but with them saying 11, it seems pretty obvious. Then in most of Microsoft's press images, the date shows October 20th. Then Walmart is promising a free upgrade to Windows 11 on eligible Windows 10 PCs October 2021. And finally, The Verge claims that their sources say Microsoft is aiming for an October release, ready for new devices from OEMs. So I'd say that pretty well means we can expect the final release in October, but there is some bad news. According to a tweet from Windows official account, Windows 11 is coming later this year, but the actual upgrade from Windows 10 rollout won't start until 2022 through the first half of the year. Basically, the OS will begin selling this year along with new PCs and laptops, but the free upgrade won't happen until next year. I guess that's not bad considering it is free, but that's still quite a bummer. Now, before I get to the next story, as of now, only 34% of those who watch my videos are subscribed, and that means over 60% of you aren't. So what are you waiting for? If you love staying up to date with all things gaming hardware, make sure to subscribe, as well as check out the GamerMail Discord server and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Next up for today, during an update on Intel's upcoming AI and HPC technology, the company revealed a bit of news for their upcoming DG2 GPUs. And for those who don't know, DG2 is the codename for Intel's upcoming discrete gaming GPUs. During the conference, they showed this slide, and as you can see, it confirms that DG2 is sampling, which means that their upcoming monster GPUs are already being evaluated by their partners, so we should actually see a release before too long. Not only that, but it shows that there likely aren't any big delays. At least not yet. Next up, it doesn't matter when Windows 11 is released for tons of gamers because you won't be able to upgrade. That's right, if you saw my recent video, I discussed the hard and soft floor requirements for Windows 11 on Microsoft's own page. Well, we can now scrap all of that in the worst way possible, as Microsoft recently changed the requirements to do away with the soft and hard floors. And if you don't meet the requirements, you cannot upgrade to Windows 11. Now, at first glance, you might think that this is just the hard floor from before, but it isn't. In fact, it's actually the soft floor, as it now requires TPM 2.0, as well as a compatible processor or SoC. And sure, the 1 GHz or faster with two or more cores may not sound that bad, but when we go to the compatibility processor page, like before, there's a lot that isn't covered. I'm talking first-gen Ryzen, first-gen Threadripper, 2400G and 2200G for AMD, and anything before Coffee Lake for Intel is not supported. That's right, according to Microsoft, CPUs that are as little as three years old will not be supported on Windows 11. To give you an idea of just how bad that is, Microsoft's own Surface Studio 2, which they still sell today and comes with TPM 2.0, won't be compatible to upgrade. And it's even worse for gamers, as we typically keep the same CPU and just upgrade the GPU. Well, if you're running a 7000 series Intel CPU or a first gen Ryzen CPU, you're out of luck. Now, I will say that while I was working on this video, Microsoft released a blog post that more or less explains why this is the case. And in it, they state that they're going to quote, identify devices running on Intel 7th generation and AMD Zen 1 that may meet our principles. Basically, as of right now, that is the case, but it could change. There also may be workarounds when Windows 11 comes out, but I can't say for sure. Here, Microsoft flat says you can't upgrade, so who knows what will happen. Let's just say, this sucks. And lastly for today, AMD just released a new custom APU, specifically the 4700S. Now, what's interesting about this is that when you look at the marketing, you'll notice it doesn't say Ryzen anywhere. And that's interesting because it looks to be the same APU in Sony's PS5. 
And really quickly, it is good to note that some articles will mention the Xbox Series X, but that's just because the original story from video cards assumed it was. They've since updated it to say the PS5, along with some reasons that I'll get to in a second. Either way, the new APU comes pre-installed on a mini ITX motherboard. It also comes with a total of 8 or 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, as well as PCI Express 2.0x4, but I'll come back to that in just a second. Either way, when we look at the diagram and the manual, as well as the device ID numbers, it becomes pretty clear that this is in fact from the PS5, plus the use of GDDR6 memory instead of DDR4. So it's technically not Ryzen, but it's built on the Zen 2 architecture. Not only that, but when we look at the specs, you'll notice that the integrated GPU has been disabled, which makes it pretty clear that these are likely bin chips with damaged iGPUs. And this brings us back to that PCI Express 2.0. Because it doesn't come with an iGPU, you'll need a discrete card. And that PCI Express slot adds some limitations. According to the specs, only certain GPUs are supported. We're talking the RX 500 series for AMD and select 1,700 cards from NVIDIA. As far as price, it doesn't say, but a Finnish store is selling it for around $320 US. Of course, that could just be early bird pricing. At the end of the day, this is really interesting. It would have been better if it included the iGPU, but then AMD wouldn't have a reason to sell it. Plus, with its GPU limitations, inability to upgrade the CPU, using VRAM for system memory, etc., this is certainly quite niche. But for those wanting a small form factor PC without doing a lot of work, it could be a great buy. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, what do you think about AMD's new APU? And are you kind of mad about this Windows 11 stuff? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!